Hello there and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude in the Couch. I'm your host Hector and tonight we're gonna talk about the brand new album by experimental black metal Japanese band uh, Sai and their new album is called Cheeky. And you know this is a band that it's been around since 89 to 90. They have multiple albums but I never actually listened to them so I went into this like with some fresh ears and obviously I do not know Japanese so uh, if I screw up so <laughs> the pronunciation or something it's Google's fault okay uh, so the album uh, is 10 songs 46 minutes in length and this is this type of band that people would call avant-garde metal because basically it's very hard to describe so every time that something is hard to describe and you don't know what it is, you put the label, avant-garde, there it is, easy, it's avant-garde metal. But yeah, this band uh, on this album, there's a lot of like uh, black metal, but they also use some traditional Japanese flutes in some of the songs and uh, also some classic great soloing, very like, uh, British new wave of heavy metal type of soloing in some of the songs. So uh, the band in some vocal delivery, uh, obviously I don't understand what they're singing, but they sound very like the band Venom uh, in that type of rapid delivery. The album starts with a instrumental uh, like noise called uh, Kuroi Inori, and then that goes to the uh, first song, which is Kurol, Ka Kurol Kage. I don't, I don't know, forgive me if I butchered it. And that was almost eight minutes long and it has like an eerie black metal feel to it. Uh, some great riffing on it and it uses like different styles and it's a long song so it takes its time. And something that is very important, the Shiki, uh, the title of the album means Four Seasons or Time to Die or Ceremony. Uh, at least that's what I found. And I think that the songs on this, uh, maybe it goes through like the seasons, of the changing of the seasons. So the, that Kuro Kage song uh, really starts the album very well. And there's some flutes here and there, some great riff into it. And I really enjoyed it. You know, uh, uh, it was, I was like thinking, what, what am I listening to? You know, it sounds very unique and different. Uh, then they go into a call, song called Sho Yahi Su Metsu, which is very long to say. And that's a shorter song, like almost four minutes. And that one really sounds more black metal. It starts with a lot of blast beats, very Venom like, aggressive vocal delivery all the way. Uh, and I like that. You know, it, it, it's a very different from the song that you heard before. And I think that gives it, you know, variety. Then they go into the song Shika Bane. And that the vocal delivery sounds very old school punk to me at the beginning. Uh, then it goes into more like classy heavy metal style. Uh, reminded me of the band Keberl Attack from Norway. Uh, the music, at least. Uh, and then it has some great soloing in the middle. Uh, and after the great solo... It gets into some weird electronic sounds with some tribal drumming. And you're like, wow, this is all in one song. And it's just great. Then it goes into the song Satsui Geshi no Ato. And that one is a song that has a lot of Middle Eastern vibes to it in the song, which I found interesting since they're a band from Japan. So that reminded me a little bit of a band called uh, Orphan Land. For those of you who have heard it, you know, it, it's a band for the Middle East and they have those sounds and they incorporate this in the sound then with some Japanese, uh, the flute come back, cl comes back in ways and some riffing and the song is long and it has a lot of changes. Then they have the song Fuyu Gakuru and that one uh, begins with some black metal vocals, gets softer and they use the flute again. And in the middle, it has a very gallopy riff, very Iron Maiden, like my friend JC, Rock and Metal Review, setting his review, uh, because there's no other way. You know, it has that great, like, soloing that you can't 
help of feel of Iron Maiden, like uh, this is the solo that they should have used in Saint Gypsum album, but they did not. So it's you know it's it's great how they go through these different styles. Then they go into a song like called uh, Shoku. When I look at the translation, and that means proof, and that starts with a lot of blast beats, and there's you listen like there's like a choir singing, an eerie evil black metal choir, and that's another song with strong venom vibes and there's a great solo in the middle of the song this is, this album has solos for days in many of the songs then they go into a song uh uh called kuro kagami which is that song is more of an instrumental you hear the rain and it's a great set way to mayonaka no kai and that's basically the last full song of the album and the beginning of that song, it has some organs which reminded you like being in church. And it gave me a lot of like uh, bites from the band Ghost, even though the vocals are nothing like the band Ghost. And then it has some organs with synthesizers and they do some great uh, vocals. Like uh, there's like a, another choir again. And they go from the harsher black metals to softer vocals. And again, at the end of the song, there's more flute on it uh, to end the song. And some great keyboards, uh, like uh, some frantic keyboards uh, nearly at the end of the song. And the song ends. There's another great solo on this song. And it ends this song on a very high note. Then the album uh, has a closer that's like 2 and 53 minutes long. And it's called... Toji no Asa, and that's more of a peaceful, like instrumental, very serene. Feel like Sen, you're in a garden. You're trying to take all this music in after you heard this album that it's so hard to describe, but yet so amazing. I can tell why it has so much praise in the metal community. And all I can say is like, listen to Sai and Shiki because it sounds like nothing else that you've heard this year so far so if you feel inclined to subscribe to my channel give me a like help me get to 500 i would like that community tab please and until next time this is hector the shield doing a couch and i'll see you right here on the couch thank you and good night